The 2023 NFL Draft is over and the Seattle Seahawks portion of the draft is done and dusted. And so the Hawks have their picks and they'll be coming in, a couple came in. And really the common thing, if you take a look at all these players, they're tough, they're smart, and they wanna be here. Those are the traits that John Schneider and Pete Carroll look for in players. And so I'm gonna to go to the video and you're gonna hear from them, Schneider and Carroll, just talk about those traits and some of the players they drafted and why. Really excited about everybody we've added, uh, especially today. You know, last night we had a couple upsets and, you know, we we're able to kind of flip it, you know, kind of get our minds right for today and, and add some awesome, awesome guys, competitors, uh, the, the type of people and competitors that we've been looking for um, to continue to build this thing. And, uh, yeah, just really proud of all of, you know, personnel guys, coaches, uh, all the medical people, um, everybody in the video department, uh, player development. Mo and Sue, uh, George and security. I mean, there's just so many, so many people that they, that, that uh, work their tails off with this thing. And um, yeah, so we'll take a couple of weeks off here, and then we'll start the process again. So uh, yeah, with that, we'll open it up. Yeah, can I just say just a just an observation from you know from how we walk out of this thing? It feels like we've continued from where we left off last year in, in the draft effort. Just the, the kinds of people. Uh, the opportunities that the guys are going to be faced with when they come here and they see their chances, it's going to feel like like last year in some regards. So it, it's our job to do a good job to knit that together and make sure that that happens so we maintain the momentum and, and the movement. But we loved last year's class and we're fired up about this year's class and it just feels like it's we've added on to it. And uh, you know, I think it's, I'm really, really proud of what, what the work that all the guys did and, and where we are right now. And, and uh, but you have met a lot of these players and you can tell that they're the kind of guys that we love and, and uh, it feels like an extension of some really good stuff. So uh, we got to prove that, but uh, it's their force to do. So it's really exciting. Is it, a, okay, is it a coincidence that every guy that we talked to mentioned either having a chip on their shoulder or something to prove, <laughs> or is there something more to this class? I know it's a characteristic yeah. here, but is there something more to this class or is that just a coincidence? I think that's the way our, what our board looks like. You're, you're, you're on our board for a reason. And so, <clears throat> you know, some people are not. We have a grade that is, is, uh, is you know, a good football player, but he's not necessarily our type of person or our type of competitor. And that's a specific category. So that's not on our front board. Uh, we have a medical board where, you know, un unfortunately we can't have some guys. Uh, and then, you know, we have our free agent board. And so I think it's a reflection of what our, what our front board looks like and all the effort that goes into understanding who the person is, all the scouts' hard work, uh, the coaches' hard work with all the Zooms. And, you know, uh, I think you, know, you got to earn your way onto that board. <laughs> I mean, it, on the field, whatever the film says, and then when you're in these, when these interviews, and, you know, we study hours and hours of these interviews that everybody put the, you know, we do with, uh, at the combine, at the, at the all-star games, uh, with all the zooms that the coaches do, so you're you're constantly studying, um, probably you know just as much film. I mean, we we could all study the film and be like, okay, that's the kind of player he is and all that. But you know who who the person is at their core is really juices what's and little extra. Sure, you know, electrical energy here. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, about those guys? Oh man, uh, Cam first. Just he, he's like we talked about last night. You know, grown men. This guy's you know. His back's almost as wide as Coach Hurts, uh, and uh, he's super strong with the point of attack, uh, and he just plays with with uh, you know just natural God-given strength, and um, he competes and was, was really excited we got him. Um, he said, "Why'd y'all wait for me so long?" or something like that. Um, and then uh, you know, Mike's Mike had an interesting. Um, uh, spring because he, he tried losing weight to test better and he had a high ankle sprain and he's just kind of figuring out like you know what I'm 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 a big I'm a big person <laughs> you know I'm a defensive end and so as of today he was 290 295 and uh, yeah so we got a cool video this morning he sent on the scale <laughs> and we know he's a big guy <clears throat> he's long he plays hard. Four guys we hit right. It looks like I can see you now. You're looking at the, the guys coming back to back to back. Uh, the big guys. They all are, have a similar makeup about them and a mentality. Uh, this is a very strong, very physical 
aggressive bunch of guys, and, and uh, it fits on both sides of the football. And, uh, it complements what, what happened on the top end of the draft, uh, too. So it's, 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 there's a commonality. It should be obvious, and, and uh, that's really what we're looking for. Well, uh, Cam's a nose tackle. He's, he's a real nose tackle. He plays on the center, plays inside. He's an inside guy all the way. Um, Mike is going to be a defensive end for us. He'll play on the guard, play on the tackle, but he's going to be have his hand on the ground uh, for the most part. And, and uh, a little bit of transition for that. He played there quite a bit, but we're going to play him there a lot. So um, that's a um, that's a little bit of, a, of an adjustment for him. You've harped on the defensive front for, for a while now. Just the importance of having a lot of guys up there. Um, obviously, spent some money in free agency, drafted some guys right now, but you've been open also to maybe bringing back some veterans. I'm just curious where you feel like the room is right now and uh, you know if there's anything that you might see in the future. Today was really important for us. Um, and of course, the free agency moves that we made you know, to get Jay Reed back and, and uh, to get Dre in, so those were hugely pointed and directed at, at you know, trying to adjust our room and make it a little more competitive and, and hopefully more productive. We're just always at it. Um, today, the, to hit the nose tackle with Cam was a really big deal. We really needed uh, a spot right there. There's, we're not done. We got work to do, and, and uh, we'll continue to work at it. We never stop, you know. But um, we got our eyes on some some guys. We're talking to some people and things like that uh, to continue to make it as competitive as possible. What stood out about Anthony? Pardon? What stood out about Anthony? Oh, wow. Square power. Um, Down about it. What stood yeah. out about? Oh, stood out. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and heavy hands. You can see him finishing people. Um, you know, he's from Michigan, goes all the way down to Baton Rouge. Had to, had to, you know, he had, had, a, had a rough go. Uh, he grew up in Michigan and uh, has overcome a lot. Uh, we, we go back and see his mom. His mom was struggling for a little while uh, back home. Um, so he's overcome a lot of things in his life. Um, we had him in on a visit. Uh, he had a great visit here with our coaching staff and, and uh, you know, our player, pro player development people and, and Stu and everybody in the kitchen. He had, he had a great time. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm doing that for Stu because it's exciting when we say it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, you know, he's, he, you know, the game I saw him play live, he had to go to tackle. He found out that morning the player was suspended, so he moves out there and goes and plays tackle. And he played, he played well. And so he's a big man. So he can compete to start, and he can get you out of a game attack. Is he projected as, as a guard for you guys? First. Yeah, yeah that's, that's tackle the second. We'll start there. Yeah. What, what well, about Luke, just the, a little bit center? I mean, it looks like he's you know, had a ton of playing time, awards, all that. Just what yeah, doing. great, you know, great background. Uh, Virginia to Michigan, comes in there, he's named captain the first year. Uh, again, another grown man, incredibly smart, uh, knows the game natural born leader, uh, awesome week at the Senior Bowl. You can't move him. I mean, he's just super stout, uh, really good person, and, and, and top level competitor. You guys found your versatility in the secondary as much as any team. Jared Reed, how does a player like that that had over 200 tackles and started a bunch of Yeah, games? he's a great really, athlete. How did, how does he he's one of our favorites. Yeah, he's fun to watch now. He's all over the place. Um, <clears throat> he's got a real knack about you know going for it and playing fast and, and aggressive and going to make the plays and so it, there's a common theme again you know this is a guy that we thought was really really active uh, and a lot of versatility and will be a special teams guy as well um, it's going to be a very competitive position for us now and, and uh, he's but he's going to bring the kind of juice that we're talking about yeah. the energy that, that, that we love you know um, so it's, it should be a really good add um, we'll see how he, you know we'll, we'll fit there's a little style to him the way he plays we'll fit his style into our stuff so that he can uh, he can be at his best he came in for his. Uh, he came in for his visit. You know, it was, it was, we couldn't wait to talk to him yeah. because he plays the, the game like uh, uh, what movie is it? Elf. You know, and kind of an angry little elf. You know, and I, <laughs> no, he uh, he plays me, and I was like, "Are you okay, man? Like, are you alright?" He's super serious. Really serious. He's looking at me like, and "I'm like, seriously, are you okay? Because you play the game like you're mad at somebody." You know, <laughs> and he does. So he, but he was he had a great time here. Great visit. Ton of energy. Ryan Florence did a great, great job. This guy was very, very much under the radar um, up until, you know, what, maybe like a month ago, he started taking some trips. Um, but uh, yeah, Ryan did a great job with the background and a favorite of his for a long time. We were hoping that he'd keep it like real, real low, but then he started taking trips. So we drafted him. When we talked to Kenny, he seemed surprised he fell kind of where he did. Um, what, uh, did, were you guys surprised he was still there? On the side yeah, the very much. Yeah, yeah. SEC, SEC running back. Yeah. 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 You know, catches the ball in the backfield. Um, 
really, you know, obviously a very talented guy who's been highly productive in the SEC. So, yeah. Was it the forty time or even the week before? Yeah, forty time, and I think he would tell you like he didn't have he didn't have a you know amazing spring in terms of uh, um, yeah you know his combine workout or you know um, well I'll let him talk on that. Did he? I, I mean, he, he said he was already talking to his agent about free agent stuff when you guys called him. Did, and he was real, very emotional. Very when emotional. Talked to him, that. So. Was he with you too? Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. yeah. 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 That was obvious. That he did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he came in there and played right away. So I mean, think about it. And the people he was playing with, you know, big time program, highly talented guy. He had that chip showing up. He'd be ready to prove it, you know. So he had the chip. I'm sorry, Pete. I mean, he had the chip, but he also kind of talked to us about how he valued the opportunity that he had. Just how he was blessed with that. Can you talk more about that? At Georgia or here? Uh, Both. Yeah. Yeah, I I would say that it's it's emotional because of the expectations and they don't always get met, you know, and, and after a while it's just, you know, is it ever going to happen? And then once it does, he, I know he just he broke up, I mean, immediately with when John <laughs> talked to him and when I talked to him. It's, it's, uh, it's just part of, you know, the, how important this is to our guys, you know, and, and how much it means to them. And, and then to have to suffer through in their sense, you know, to suffer through the, the long rounds and the picks and all that, by the time it gets here, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to contain sometimes. You know, we've, we've seen some pretty famous picks we've had over the years. It's it's been emotional, you know, for them. But that shows you who who they are and what what, what they're all about. And, and uh, it's it's why we like these guys, you know, and why they're you know we're so attracted to them. Yeah, and he's already getting calls, you know, at that point in the draft for probably a good I don't know hour hour and a half. He's getting calls from people like, hey, you know, if you're not drafted, you know, it's like you know. Fit and there were, you know, people were recruiting him, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I could see where he was like, okay, you know, still that fact of still being drafted is a big deal. I could see that. Pete, you kind of alluded to this class the fitting in with last year's and kind of all that. How, how do you sort of feel like though the entire roster is right now? When you kind of look at this, kind of well, this is going to be a really, really competitive camp. This, this, this camp this year now, there's, um, there's enough athleticism in the, in the young end of the, of the roster. Uh, with a ton of speed, a ton of aggressive mentality, uh, physical group, it's going to make it really, really competitive, and it's going to be a, a great way for us to start this season. Um, you know, we'll, we'll kick it off here. Uh, the rooks will get here in a couple weeks before they can show, but we'll kick it off, really set it up, and then the kickoff time will come into camp. And I would expect uh, that this is the kind of the kind of atmosphere that, that, that is conducive to really going for it. And uh, that winning will hold nothing back. Everybody tried to, to make us into a rebuild a year ago or whatever that was all about. And that what not the way we think. And we're thinking as we start this thing off and pull these guys with us, that we're really going for it. And uh, from Chino and, and, and Digsy and Jamal and Bobby and the guys on the, on you know both sides of the football, Will Disley and, uh, and even the, the young guys from Ken and, and DK and of course Tyler, those guys are, they have their expectations set. And they're going to embrace these guys as they come in, as they did last year. We've already talked to the guys that were rookies this past season about getting ready. They're coming in. They're going to, they're going to fight for your job. They're going to give you their best shot. And we're going to give them an opportunity to show where they fit. And as you get ready to compete and not give up your job, you also have to embrace these guys because they're going to be on our team and they're going to be part of it. So it's all of that's already in, 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 uh, in flow. And so uh, it's going to be a really exciting, uh, really exciting year coming up. You're in. Pick kind of a trade or two to describe this class as a whole. I, 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 I would say that, tough. Sorry, I, I don't mean this. Yeah, to go no, no. I, I think it's it's toughness and physicality. I think this is a really from top to bottom. It's a group that's going to really demonstrate that. And, you know, we're really, really proud of that. I mean, on our tags, we have you know different insignia on there that represent different things, and you know, I'd say just about every one of these guys has a hammer on there, which means that the scout has to say. This guy's a legitimate tough guy. So when you look at our tag, all these guys have a hammer on it. Well, there you have it. John Schneider and Pete Carroll just talking about the players they drafted and why. And again, it's about building that culture. It's about that locker room that they wanted. So um, there's really no secret there. And they they believe that this is, you know, year two of that rebuild. And really, 
Schneider and Carroll have been able to rebuild this roster and no, you know, part of that was all the draft capital they got from Russell Wilson and then knowing who they wanted. So it has the Seahawks feeling really good about that. This draft and up next will be a flurry of free agency. They only have two quarterbacks, so you know they're going to make a move, whether it's, you know, a veteran or, you know, a rookie. That's yet to be seen. But so up next will be a lot of free agent signings, and we'll get those up to you at CascadiaSports.net, also at the YouTube channel, Masvida Mare, right? And um, then there'll be the rookie mini camp, and then the OTAs, then they'll be off, and then it'll be training camp. So, for the CascadiaSports.net Seahawks Report, I'm Osvito Mareire.